Patting myself dry, I dashed to the bedroom. Bianca was up and out of her bed. I thought, damn, where did she go that quick? I went in my suitcase, pulled out my jeans and a shirt. As I reached for the bra I had laying on top of my suitcase under the folded dress I took off last night, I immediately saw that my safety pin was not there. I ran my hand along the lining of the bra. The pins were gone. My $2,500 was gone. A sense of emergency overcame my body. Don't panic, I mumbled to myself. I unfolded my dress, shook it out to see if my money had somehow gotten tangled up in there. Nothing. I picked up my pantyhose, shook them. I threw open the top of my suitcase and started running my hand along the side pockets, searching for the cash. I looked in places I knew I had never and would never have put the money. Sweat broke out on my forehead, mixing with water beads from the shower. Aunt B stuck her head into the bedroom door, shook her head with disapproval and said, What a mess. Please don't keep company waiting. She cleared her throat. Are you looking for something? I opened my mouth to speak, then immediately closed it. Nah. She walked away. I got it. I caught it. She had been in my things. My aunt had stolen my money. She thought it was even Steven because she didn't have no money, and she figured I got more money where this comes from because I must be holding out on her. This bitch took my life savings. I screamed out loud. No words, just sounds. I stood butt naked in anguish.